Actually, you don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? I don't know what that is. Oh. Is that from the brakes? Unlike Yasin. How you doing, Ricky? You right? How you doing, man? You good? I'm good. I'm Welcome good. to Living Life Fast. Thanks for travelling down today. No problem. Uh, so you are from Luton. I met you at Evolve Automotive, didn't I, recently? Yes, did, yes. So this is your VR6. It's turbocharged. It is, yes. Uh, obviously, they're naturally aspirated from factory. Uh, do you want to go over... Let's actually let's talk a little bit about history because I've had a few different Volkswagen owners on the channel recently and they have actually been saying that this engine is basically an R32 engine, right? Yeah, so originally, um, this engine supposed to be a diesel engine mm. um, and uh, for some reason they decided or they didn't have the money and uh, stopped going towards the diesel way and decided to go down the petrol mm -hmm. uh, route and I think initially they wanted to turbocharge it but the cost of doing the turbocharging would uh, uh, overcome the price of the car so they scrapped the idea of turbocharging okay. in the 90s obviously it's a bit more expensive uh, and they didn't have the technology to create the turbos for a cheap price. So they made a 2.9 VR6 and a 2.8 VR6. The 2.9s came in the early Corrados mm -hmm. and uh, the 2.8 came in some of the later Corrados and uh, the Mark III Golfs. Yeah. Um, they also came uh, with the G60 in the Corrado. Uh, they came in the GTI's 8 valve and 16 valve, a 2 litre and uh, 1.8. Okay. So this car being designed originally as a diesel, would that make it a bit more stronger, like uh, kind of over-engineered or? Yeah, if you think about the 90s, uh, a lot of the cars were over-engineered. Yeah. For example, the Supra yeah. uh, it came out of factory with like 230 horsepower or something, and it's capable of holding 800 without any mods. Yeah. Uh, the VR6, it's um, pretty strong as well. I think without any mods, it can probably hold up to 480 horsepower. Right. Uh, do it without doing anything to the car. So for anyone that's got an R32, this is the original engine, isn't it, basically? This is uh, the OG of uh, the VR6. <laughs> yeah, and it's almost like the beginning of the Golf R sort of range as well, isn't it? Because it went to the R32, one, two, obviously went into four-wheel drive, didn't it? That's right, yeah. Well, to be honest, the first ever Volkswagen four-wheel drive was Mark II Synchros, but yeah. the Haldex started off on the Mark III. And uh, that was originally on the A59, which they apparently made uh, two maybe or one of them yeah. um, and uh, because of the cost I think uh, they didn't go ahead and put the Haldex on the Mark III so yeah. they got it on the Mark IVs instead. Alright so let's move on to what you've had done to the car so it's turbocharged you say you've got a Garrett turbo in it? Yeah it's a GTX uh, 3582R wow. Garrett turbo. So you've got a big turbo in there and what about uh, engine have you done anything? Yeah so the engine's um, fully forged top and bottom wasn't the pistons PEC rods um, it's been bought out to three litre um, oh, right. and uh, it's got ti super tech titanium valves and springs. So what does this all make the engine uh, produce? Uh, it's built for around 750 horsepower. Okay. Um, wow. uh, but at the moment I'm on a base map um, and it's running about around 315 horsepower. And what can that turbo take? Uh, the tur turbo is capable of 750 horsepower. Oh geez. So this is a uh, proper tease today, right? Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose uh, it being front wheel drive, it probably gets the power down pretty well at the moment. You say you've got LSD, you can see you've got suspension wheels. Yeah, I've got a Quaif uh, limited slip diff. Mm -hmm. um, I've got Bilstein B14 coilovers. Right. Um, I've got um, high back anti-roll front and back. 
Right, so does this help reduce torque steer or did it? Um, the it LSD like? definitely helps with um, not spinning up mm -hmm. um, and the handling is a lot better as well, you can tell. And then what have you done braking? I can see, uh, so you've got Brembo's down there, haven't you? Yeah, I've got Brembo's on there uh, from a uh, Seat Leon Cooper R. And uh, have you changed the front end as well? Because the front ends are not like this, are they? They've got the yeah, Jetta front. Yeah, I've got the Jetta slash Vento front end, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, phase one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, people is sought after. Yeah, yeah, it's a popular mod, isn't it? Yes. Is that a carbon bonnet you got as well? Yes, it is a carbon uh, bonnet. Um, I thought uh, since I'm adding so much weight at the front, I need to get some, uh, rid of some of the weight as well. Yeah. So I got rid of the bonnet and uh, managed to come across the Vento carbon bonnet. Yeah, it, it looks nice, man. And, Thank you. Um, what are you doing with tyres? Um, it's got Rain Sport 3s, Shark Tail. Okay, um, cool. and, um, it's uh, got really really good reviews and I can personally say uh, the tyres are actually amazing even though they're rain tyres um, yeah. the grip on it is amazing even in the dry yeah even in the dry okay. and then wheels you've got with the OZs yeah yes uh, I've got uh, OZ um, Ultra Legueras on there 17 inch what's going on uh, interior wise got a Sparco um, Alcantara steering wheel uh, it's a snap off um, I've got a short shifter as well okay. uh, Gemma Motorsports um, I've got um, an AFR gauge by AEM. And uh, you say you've done all the, a lot of the work yourself as well on the engine? That's right, yeah, I've done uh, a lot of the work myself. Um, um, the history behind it is when I went on the forums, everyone was talking about, oh, do this, this is better, or that is better. No one's actually spoken from experience. So uh, I decided to go out there and find out for myself. Uh, so initially I went supercharged, um, and then I went small turbo, and this is like a pretty big turbo for me. Let's hit the road then. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. VR6s when I was in college yeah and uh, this guy must have rolled in with it and uh, it's a Mulberry uh, oh Mulberry yeah, yeah Mulberry one which is quite um, like everybody purple, knows yeah. For, yeah the purple one yeah and um, when I heard the sound of it and I saw the look of it I was like wow and I'm getting me one of these man so how old are you I'm 31 how long have you on the car um, well I had uh, one about five years ago but somebody drove into it at ASCAF yeah uh, ended up buying another one and it's this one and it's uh, in better condition uh, yeah. So, what are these switches here? So these are it's for the future. Uh, this is uh, for map switching. Yeah. And that's uh, the uh, launch control. And this is going to be for additional fans for the cooling the gearbox. Man's already for the future, yo. Yeah, it does. Oh, does it? I like how small the wheel is. All right, yeah, it's nice. It uh, gives you a good racing feeling as well. Yeah, and you got the Bill Steen suspension. Yes, yeah, it's, all yeah, right it's, over it's comfy, road, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, is that a pop and bang map you got? Or? Nope, it's just naturally just the. Uh, I think it's just space map. It. Yeah. Where is it tuned by? I don't think you mentioned. Uh, um, so it's running on a standalone ECU, um, yeah. Emerald, uh, by John. Oh, it's got. Oh, okay, right. right. Um, and he tuned it as well? Yeah, he tuned it. What's it been like? Has it been expensive to get the car to this point? To be fair, you can do it a lot cheaper, but um, I didn't skimp out. I tried to go for uh, the best parts. Right. A lot of the guys uh, that do do VR turbo builds, they end up doing eBay options and uh, it doesn't last long and then you'll see them on the scene for a month and then they've gone. What's it like for reliability then? Does it cost? Uh, um, so far it's been very well, it's a reliable car as it is but with the turbo it seems very reliable as well yeah um it's just because i've worked on it a couple of times or a few times yeah. there's small gre gremlins that i have to sort out and what are the gremlins you want to get over before uh, got, pushing the power there i've uh, got a slight uh, oil leak uh, which is uh, not helping with the oil pressure okay. um i had issues with my steering uh, but now it's resolved but apart from that it's uh, doing all right so you're looking to take over, man, when you're running six, seven hundred horsepower, man. Uh, my aim is just to hit 10, ten seconds, really, on the quarter mile. 
Uh, with, it, with the interior in. And you're thinking about the four-wheel drive? Um, uh, possibly four-wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, if I don't need it, I can do it with just the front-wheel drive. So there was actually a four-wheel drive version, as you say, was it in another country? Not in yeah, the, they, so they had the, the Synchro VR6 in Europe, uh, yeah. which they didn't release here in the UK. Okay. Um, and they're quite rare. I actually grew up in these cars, man. All my friends had Mark III GTIs, VR6s, the Corrado. Was it the Corrado Storm in the G60s? I know you mentioned earlier. That's right, yeah. So yeah, man, I'm like, I fully know these cars, man. Obviously, the VR6 is a, a real smooth, sort of linear kind of power, isn't it? But you yeah. can feel that boost. Yeah. Um, what is the PSI? Do you know it's running? Uh, 15 PSI at the moment. It's very smooth. It's not like a massive shove in your back, but you can definitely feel that, as you say, like that turbo feel. It's only half the PSI what I'm running now. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be it's half the power as well. Uh, when it's running uh, full power, it's going to be a different story, I guess. Have you had this dyno? Um, yeah, I had the base map, uh, which was done at Emerald. Um, so that, that came out at 315. A standard gearbox? Uh, it's a standard gearbox with a limited slip diff. Pretty quiet, isn't it, as well? It's not like um, super loud. Yeah, it's not It's not too loud, but it does... It's nice, though, isn't it? It's not it's, we're sitting in the lower rev, rev range at the moment, but when yeah. you're driving down the motorway, it's uh, sitting up quite high. Okay, uh, it's a bit droney. It is a bit droney, yeah. yeah. Hey, it feels like we're at this. We, we are. <laughs> my, my seat is high and the back end is a bit up. But you know what, when the boost kicks in, the front of the car raises, so it levels itself out, innit? <laughs> As always, Golf, easy to drive, innit? Yeah, that's it. I'm it's got a nice weight to the steering wheel, immediately. Thanks. Doesn't feel too light and not too heavy. Yeah, it's got it's uh, perfect, you know that? It's got uh, body bushes all around. Uh, that's cha changed the setup a lot. Have I ever driven a VR6, is the question. I don't think I have. This gearbox feels like every Audi I've ever driven. <laughs> well, VW Audi, same group, isn't it? It's the same gearbox, man. I'm telling you, in the brand new Audi, that is the nice weight and like just it feels solid but still light and easy yeah. to use. And what is it? Original Mark III gearbox. It's a Mark III gearbox, yeah. I almost felt it lunge forward then when I let off the um, clutch. Oh, like a bit of extra boost or something? Yeah, like, I don't know. I remember uh, feeling that in the Mark 7 Golf R. I like the, 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 the sound levels. Yeah. You know it's what I mean? Quiet. It's not too intrusive. Yeah. Obviously, like you say, on motorway, it might be different. What do you reckon of the tyres? And... I mean, obviously, like, like, we're not really going all out or anything. But, yeah, I can feel it's a car that I'd have to get a little used to. Yeah. Yeah, it really feels like we're looking down the road. Do you prefer it? The fact that you can well, actually see clearly. Well, I mean, I don't know what I would be comparing it to, but it feels it feels very different, but it feels like I'm driving a drag setup car almost. Definitely about buying an old school car though, you know that. Yeah, anybody man, like we've done a lot of like retro old school cars recently. And um highly recommend if you've got a nice daily Definitely get you something a little, a little more old. Trust me. You're not going to lose as much money as well. Like these cars have usually lost all of their value. So it's almost a bit of a no-brainer, really, as a car enthusiast. I don't want, oh shit! That I don't know what that is? You don't know what that is? I don't know. What that is. Oh, is that from the brakes? No. Go back to the car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh I'll shit. Take, I'll take yeah. Easy drive back. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah, guys, we're gonna have to cut this one short. Oof. That is knocking, isn't it? Yeah.